Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my quick release battery mod on the Star Adventurer. Look, it's June right there. June, what are you doing rising? <laughs> I'm filming, buddy. Good morning. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my quick release battery mod on the Skywatcher Star Adventurer. And this all came about because when I got my Star Adventure, and I don't know about you guys, but first thing I noticed is those batteries are in that battery tray super tight. Sometimes I got to use my keys to dig out my um, batteries. Sometimes I'm just digging them out with my finger, but it's super difficult and I got really tired of it. So I made this battery mod a few years ago and it's actually been working really great. There's a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need some tape, number one, and you're going to need to find some ribbon. So what I go and do is I go to Target and I get these fabric ribbons, right? The good thing is this mod will probably cost you under $5 if you don't have any of the things at home. But because you just need tape and a ribbon, this is all stuff that you probably have already. Oh, and before I forget, if you are interested in the Star Adventure, I did make a video about it. So you might want to check it out after this one. Okay, so the trick to finding the right ribbon is you want something that's no more than one millimeter thick. And you also want to make sure that it's really strong too, because you're going to be pulling on it. After you found your ribbon and also some tape, you're going to want to find a small screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, preferably, because we're going to need to take the battery tray right out of the Star Adventure, and I'll show you how to do that. You guys coming or what? All right, that was super corny. <laughs> Look at the way I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is remove the battery cover off of the Star Adventure and also the batteries. Underneath the battery will be four screws. You're going to take those four screws out because you're going to want to remove the battery tray. But be careful because the battery tray it has two leads soldered onto it. So you just want to pull it out enough so that you can get up under it. You don't want to remove it completely. So be careful when you remove the battery tray. All right, we're going to try and do this without losing any screws. So here's the first one. Here's number two. Here's number three. And here's number four. All right. And your battery tray should just come right out after that. You wanna be careful because there's some wires underneath that you don't wanna unplug. All right, then you wanna take your piece of ribbon and you wanna put it around the center about. And I'm gonna use some duct tape you can use any tape you want, but I'm, I kind of want a more permanent setup. I want it to last a little bit longer because you might need to change it out depending on what kind of ribbon that you chose. So, right. It's going to look a little bit like that. And then it should go around the center if you can see that there. Right, if you did it right, you didn't tape over the holes. So just make sure you didn't tape over the holes. And what I like to do is put my screws back in first. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So here is screw number one. And I'm gonna do it in a diagonal pattern so I can um, get the proper tightness on it everywhere ish Ooh, that one's a little tricky all right there's number two. Oh, and i 
lost a screw. No. Here's number three. And here's number four. So if it doesn't screw down all the way, that means you chose a ribbon that was too thick. But in my case, I chose wisely. And it looks fancy, I, I kind of love it. It's festive. All right. Now, you wanna take your ribbon and you wanna start putting batteries in there. So here's battery one. All right. Here's battery two. Here's battery three. That just means you don't have enough slack. All right, there's... <laughs> for some reason, battery three is always really tricky for me. And then here's battery four. All right, and then we're gonna trim your ribbon if you need to, but this is almost perfect actually. Let me see if my battery cover fits on just like that. Ooh, and it does. And the next thing you wanna do is make sure your Star Adventure powers on by just moving the dial switch there and see if it lights up red, which it does. Nice. All right, so now let's try it out. So when it comes time to take the batteries out, all you'd have to do is remove the cover and you just grab your ribbon and out comes the batteries. All right, guys, well, that's all it takes to modify your Star Adventurer for a quick release of batteries. A quick release of batteries. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and I'm really curious that those of you that own the Star Adventure, did you modify this similarly or did you do something else? If you did, share it down in the comments. And I also have a few more product videos coming your way. And also, hopefully, a Astro Adventure, because I think I might have clear skies in a few more weeks. Let's hope for that. Well, anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>